why don't I read these for a little bit? Okay, sure. Take, like, my only job. Well, I'm just trying to be helpful. Hey everyone, Erin here, your hostess with the mostess, and welcome back to another episode of Trans Gaming. We are finally back. I'm here with my co-host, John. John, aren't you just so excited to be playing this game again? Yes, actually, I, I am. I'm pretty exhausted otherwise, so I don't know how this is going to go, but... Well, I think it's going to go kind of how it usually goes. Um, sp Speaking of being exhausted, you waited almost two weeks after you got back from vacation to play again. I think that's really not fair to me. Um, okay. Aren't you- you're just agreeing with me? Well, yeah, I mean, that's sort of what I do. Alright, well, this is not exactly a good start. Why don't we just get into the game and see what we can do? Yeah, that's the point. Ooh, snippy. Oh. Do you want to do a voice for her? Oh god, I'm not sure if I'm ready for voices right now. <laughs> oh really? Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. She's just a shopkeep. But she's a character. Like. Hello, traveler. How can I help you? Bye. Tough glove. Weapon. Slap him. It has abs on it. Oh, manly bandana. <laughs> Bicycle. Eat it twice. Ooh. You have a hard time avoiding things, so I think health stuff's probably be best bet. Oh, yeah, well, I don't disagree with that. So I guess I'll buy this. I'll just stop. Sorry. Oh, I can talk to her. I forgot what she sounds like. Already. It's so bad with voices. Uh, take your time. Say hello. What do you do here? Oh. Life is the same as usual. A little claustrophobic. But we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? Well, shit. I feel like I'm gritting my teeth constantly. Oh. Bye now. Come again sometime. All right. And then the end. Oh, hello. Let me just bunny over here. Mom says that saving can recover your health above your maximum HP. Aaron, that started out strong, but then it really just plummeted. Oh, so your only job right now is to just um, judge my voices. That seems really mature and also progressive of you. I, th I don't think you mean that. Hmm. What's, what's maximum HP? Huh, jeez, I'm not sure this is really working out. Welcome to Snowden, Snowden's premier hotel. One night is 80G. 
Um, I'm just gonna leave. Well, feel free to come back anytime. Alright, so voices are really hard when you can't do them. Don't want to walk the other side of town. Try the under snow tunnel. They're efficiently laid out. Oh, I bet they are efficient. That's more efficient than I thought. It's like I'm warped. Okay, this place is actually really big. There's a lot of people. Oh. Someone's got in their mailbox. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. This mailbox is labeled papyrus. Look inside. You realize that you would probably it would probably be illegal. Okay, so then this is their house. It's locked. Alright, so Wow. Okay. Now there's so many characters oh, okay. This is gonna be a fun one, I guess. Oh god. Whatever you describe is fun. Black look at your eye. You're someone that has difficulty solving Junior Jumbo, aren't you? Yes. Yes, I am. I love working on newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. Cough, cough. When I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm not doing that anymore. I'm never talking to that lady. Yeah, Aaron, please don't. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know. This sign is misspelled. Alright, I'm gonna look at books. Well, obviously, you're in a library. This, this is great. All of this is so good. Alright. It's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it onto the person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Hmm. Am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. Oh boy. While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. But they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. What? What the hell? I don't know. Troller's all messed up. Here I am, writing this book. Person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh. Oh, sorry. I'm still writing that one. She kind of has your voice, but maybe slightly higher. Gosh, it feels like, like everything is just, ugh, so bad. Right, oh jeez. Why don't I be this for a little bit? Okay, sure, take like my only job. Well, I'm just trying to be helpful. You know why. Yeah, but it's, it's still kind of weird, okay? Right, but, all right, anyway. <laughs> Because they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with a desire to kill, um, let's end the chapter here. Ooh, ominous. 
Monster History Part 4 Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city home. We brave harsh cold damp swampland and searing heat until we reached what we now call our capital, New Home. Again, our king is really bad at names. There's a ladder. Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made of. But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Boo, deep. And then finish after that. Well, how many people is it talk to? Probably a lot. But uh, I'll, I'll just talk this up. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? Wow, that was actually a really good voice. Where did that even come from? I don't know. Everyone's always laughing and cracking jokes. Trying to forget our modern crisis. Jerry is crying. Lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm, I'm just very funny. Not very funny. Right? No clue. Grill beans. This must be grill beans. This town doesn't have a mayor. But if there's even a problem, Skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. Um, is that supposed to be something? Oh, it's Christmas. It's a carefully decorated tree. Some of the presents are addressed from Santa to various locals. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree-like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. All right. It's a kid. Are you are you excited? I'm no. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. Um, I'm I'm not sure if doing all these voices is really necessary. Everybody has like just one line. There's so many characters. Oh, come on, it's fun. <laughs> Please don't defy Uh, sorry. I'm gonna sneak up on her. Pinch her little tail. That's enough of that, Aaron. Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable, Tiki. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. What? Why? Why can't I go in? Yeah. I think I figured it out. No, never mind. Yeah. No. I'm just gonna go in a grill piece. Alright. Um. I think that's where we'll end the episode. Not a whole lot going on, just playing around with voices and probably just really uh, wearing down the mileage on what I can do tonight. Yeah, uh, definitely. Well, you're not really contributing, so. Once again, Aaron. We gotta do this like more often. This is like 
I don't know, it's really hard to even get in any kind of groove when we're just taking almost month-long breaks at a time. Yeah, and whose fault do you think that is? I'm, I'm not trying to point blame, I'm just, you know... Oh, I know. I know. Whatever. Anyway. Alright, so... I guess we're gonna be talking to people at the bar in the next one. And if you stay till the end, thank you, you're a real sweetheart. And take care, everyone. Yep, take care.